What the hell? This is exactly why you have no friends. Look, some gal killed a bunch of people at the mall last night. Holy shit. Hi, guys. How are you hey, doing? Hi. Nice to speak to you. Good. How are well, you? Thank you. Hi. I'm good, thanks. I want to ask, to ask a question to Daryl first of all. I want to get the uh, elephant in the room out of the way. Daryl, being the janitor for mm. Shady Side, that is, you've got to go way beyond the call of duty for a typical janitor because of just all the bloodshed that goes on in this place. So do you not, would you not agree that Ashley's sheriff character gives you a lot more of a harder time than he should do? He does. Um, Ashley, you answer for your crimes of making me <laughs> clean up so much. Uh, but being, a, being the lead custodial engineer, Howard, it was, um, I, I went, I did extensive training. I spent six years of my life um, at a mall and never left the mall and just cleaned a mall for six years straight preparing for this role. So I feel like I did a, a, a pretty decent job of, I'm, I'm joking, Howard, none of that happened. You none of, yeah, you definitely, you definitely look the part. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, but seriously, I, I wanted to bring that to kind of the, the, the gore and, and then the things we see, it, it's kind of out of this world. I mean, towards the end, I was, I was like, stuff that I've not really, not, I wasn't expecting to see. Were you expecting it to get as hardcore as it does get in the end? Question for all of you. I think it's um, it's where the films were always heading. I think uh, I, I think like it, these films are very much a trilogy, and it starts heavy, and it just keeps ramping up from there. I, I think I think the, the, these films are like any good genre film. Like there's it's trying to say something at the same time. And the natural progression of those things that it's trying to say has to lead to where it gets to. She was so sexy, but so crazy. Normal bitches don't bleed black blood. How do we not die? I'm looking at you, witch nerd. The first film is in 1994, which was kind of a, it was a, a very um, momentous year. I mean, we lost Kurt Cobain, all the, uh, the PlayStation was released, OJ Simpson. It was, it was kind of, it's a very, I've got very, very, very vivid memories of that year. Can you tell me a little bit, I mean, you were a bit younger than me, but can you, can you tell me what it was like kind of transporting yourself back into that time period to get into the film? Certainly, you know, working with the costume designer um, on this movie and putting on the outfits from the 90s. And then also what I found to be really amazing was the the job that the production designer and the art directors did with the mall and all the stores and the store names, starting this whole thing with the B. Dalton bookstore. I vividly remember B. Dalton books. So that that really helped, you know, once you were inside that mall, you felt like you were back in the 90s. Another shady side tragedy. Fits the narrative, right? Sarah Fear's back. Christ, not you too. There's no angry dead witch. The only thing that made him go crazy is this town. And was, and was there were there any mementos on set that you kind of wanted to take home with you? But I mean, I mean, you had lots of clocks to choose from. For example, was there anything <laughs> that you, you would like to sort of take them back with you, although you did take back with you. No, I didn't take anything from this set. Um, I guess I should have. I've always, um, I always regret after the fact that I that I didn't take something small. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you know what would be the coolest thing is if I could ever get an autographed book by R.L. Stein. So maybe that's one for mm. the future. I have a goal now. That's good. That's good. We have, well, we're out of time. So thanks so much for your time, guys. I wish you the best of luck with the uh, the series of films. I'm sure it's going to go down really well. And I hope to speak to you sometime soon. Thank, Thank you so you much. Know. You can't stop it. <laughs>